Hi there, so we're going to be using our strap for this class and we're going to be sort of moving around the, the mat a little bit and the floor. So uh, we're going to be starting in a standing position. Have your, have your strap so it's ready, you probably won't need your block. Um, but I just want you to sort of walk and roll the shoulders. So move your legs and swing your arms, move your shoulders and get a little bit of warmth into there. But don't overthink it. Sometimes we find when we're standing still and we're rolling our shoulders, we really overthink it. So just move, move yourself on the mat, sort of shrug your shoulders up and down and walk around and let everything become, become sort of nice and, nice and loose. And you're going to swing your arms sort of forwards and backwards, up and around, nice big circles, just making sure you're not going to take anything out either side of you. And just keep the lower body moving as well. So we're sort of just trying to be a little bit free with this. And opening and closing, swinging the arms. Just beginning to sort of come into a little bit of dynamic stretching. So we're, we're sort of making these moves warm but bringing mobility into there too. So it's quite upper body focused this this class and then just bend your elbows and swing around from side to side you can go for a little walk with this one um, just moving stretching warming up the shoulder blades and then take the arms long and do the same thing and twisting coming up onto the ball of the foot and think about just like being a kid and swinging swinging your arms around and trying to make those limbs as long and loose as possible and then find your feet in the middle of your, your mat, just so you've got enough room side to side. to side. And we're just going to reach the arms up, really stretch and open up through the, through the chest. And then let them swing down. So reaching up, sort of squeezing the hips under and down. So really finding that freedom in the front body. And just exhaling as you release the arms down. So and inhale up, and a couple more, bending through the knees, making sure there's no pressure onto the back, and last one, and then we're going to take hold of our strap. Now if you have a strap that is um, you know, not a rigid one, and you have a stretchy band, then that's going to be fine too, you just need to walk your hands along the band until you find the, the right position. Right, so um you're just going to be the guide of how how long you make make the strap i'm going to start with mine folded over in half and then i'm just going to reach the arms up and get a stretch and come down so you're really just feeling um where you feel that that restriction into the shoulders and then pausing okay so coming up and we're just going to keep the feet moving with this so we actually move move through the body and then you notice I go straight over. So try not to overthink what you're doing. And sometimes when we're stretching and we're thinking, oh, that feels really stiff, but then we actually release because we're moving around and doing other things, actually that mobility just comes. So you're not forcing it. If you've got a stretchy band, if you've if you can't get your hands over actually at all, okay, then that's fine too. So you're just going to keep keep the arms really nice and wide, just coming coming up to where you where you can. If you've got a stretchy band, you just need to play where you've got the got the hands. So you should be a little bit warmer through that area, yeah. So through the chest, and see if you can start to just hold that position where you feel the. The maximum stretch there but keep the rest of the body moving and then we're going to come around sort of swing ourselves around one way around the other way a bit like we did and you're with this you're trying to make the the band sort of or the strap sort of pull apart behind you so you can really feel that good stretch across the chest now seeing if you can take the hands down a little bit wider and lower and then keep that movement swinging around. This time we're going to take the upper, the upper body round and keep the lower body still. 
but work on work on pulling the, the shoulder blades back, pushing the chest open. And then really sing, sing if you can feel like the whole of the front is opening. Now, as you've eased off a little bit, you may be able to um, take a little bit of a, a narrower reach. Okay, so coming up and over again, we're taking those, those steps with these and finding that really nice opening through the through the shoulders here now hold up to the ceiling and a little bit behind you and we're going to go over to one side and then the other side and again we're going to be quite free with this so don't worry about if your heel lifts if your sides are tight but what i'm looking for you to do with this is try not to change the window of the shape so i've got a good Good sort of triangle shape here and I'm not going to change it so the distance between my bicep and my ears are going to stay the same but apart from that I don't really care what you do I just want you to feel that opening through the side even if you bend your knees a little bit push your hips out go with what feels good for your body at this moment now you might want to push the hand forwards a little bit and open up into the sides yeah, so pushing, opening, and then we're going to see if we can take the hands a little bit closer together on that on that strap. Now this time it is going to be more rigid, okay? So we're going to keep the feet flat on the floor and you're going to push the hips out to the side. I'm really going to open up through the side body now, try and pull the ribcage in. And remember what I said about keeping the windows the same. So we're coming over and you're using your side body now to really strengthen and hold that position. And then you're gonna exhale, come all the way back up to the top. Same thing, other side. So over we go, find that stretch, push the strap, push the band away from you. Keep the heels firmly fixed on the ground. Then we're gonna push the hip out to the side. You're gonna squeeze through your obliques so the side body, and you're gonna hold that. Now pull the rib cage in and try and push Push that top arm up away from you as well. Okay, exhale, coming up. And we're gonna do one more. This time we're gonna come over and just twist a little tiny bit. Now I'm twisting through my upper body, not my lower body. Okay, so my hips are staying stable and I'm pushing and reaching through, the, through my top arm as I'm really trying to push and sort of punch something. Yeah, so that's how active that top arm is. And I'm pushing away through my back hip. So that's gonna get into the side body here. Now rotate, exhale, come up. <sighs> yep, same thing, other side. So reaching over and having that twist and pushing through that top arm, opening up through the side. So it is really active and I'm also trying to send, send my top arm away, but also trying to send my back hip. So my hip that's on the side away from me. Twist, exhale, come up. Now we're going to take the band behind our backs. Um, I'm going to stand to the side so you can see. I'm going to interlink my hands around the band. Now you choose where you want your hands and you'll, you'll play with it as, as you get there. And then you're going to pull the, pull the band down and pull it apart. And then we're going to go for that little movement again, just through the feet, through the upper body. Just rocking from side to side, really pushing that chest up and forwards so you can feel the stretch across the chest. And then hold stillness. And we're going to reach the arms up and down now. So squeezing them up and down. Now, every time you squeeze, you're also going to make this quite active. So we're, we're not just sort of pulling. It's hard work to pull that strap up. Yeah. So you're going to pull and open that chest, couple more, and then hold at the top. So hold at the top, get that good stretch in there, pull the shoulders away from the ears, and release. Now place the strap down on the floor for a moment, we can take our feet nice and wide, and then just have the hand onto the head, and take the other hand away, and just pull a little bit, as we feel the weight of the hand just onto the side of the head. So you're going to feel a good stretch down the side of the side of the shoulder here. And then coming up, so same thing, other side. 
hand on the side of the head, just gen gently let that, that head come over and stretch those fingers up, pull the shoulder away from the ear. And again, you're going to come up. Right, this time you're going to take the hand behind the back. So I'm going to turn around, take the hand behind the back, and I'm going to reach that hand over to the opposite, opposite um, arm. Okay, I'm quite tight through my chest, so this is quite difficult for me, but it will, could be easy for you. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle around, grab hold of the arm, and then we're going to push the chest forwards and work on um, trying to bring that arm across. Now, if you can't reach at all, what you are going to do is use the strap. Okay, so you're going to hold on, hold on to the strap. You can even hook the hook the strap around the the upper arm like this, and then find it behind you, and then walk your fingers fingers along. So we're sort of pulling up. Now the strap needs to be around the bicep, not around the elbow. You don't want to be putting pressure onto the onto the um, tendons of the elbow. Okay. So walking up, yeah, finding that grip, and then really trying to pull the shoulder back. So we're working on trying to, the arm that's behind you, you're trying to pull that shoulder back, back away from you. Yeah, so you're, so you're sort of opening up through the front of that, that chest. You should feel this at the front of the shoulder and also um, around the chest area. And release. So give your arms a little shake. Same thing the other side. So the arms are going to come over and you'll find one side so much easier than the other. So this side's quite easy for me in comparison. And you're going to find that too. One side will feel quite easy compared to the other because we're never ever symmetrical. And just rock from side to side a little bit. Bringing that movement in there. Trying not to pull onto the elbow. And using the strap around the bicep if you need to. And then holding stillness and you're going to sort of try and push your chest forwards, but bring your rib cage in, yeah, to get that good stretch in there. And release. So give your arms a good shake there. And then um, we're going to come to the middle, middle of a mat. Now you will need your strap. So we have that where you can just, just grab it. And we're going to come to a forward fold. So, but my legs are wider than the normal. So I've got my I've got my feet about shoulder width apart, and I'm going to have my hands on my hips, head up, and I'm going to hinge my my bottom backwards by bending through my knees and lifting my belly button up. And then I'm going to let my I, my hands hang down, and my shoulders um, are going to be actually quite active and pulled up and back. And then I'm going to use my glutes to come back up. So I'm a bit in a gorilla position at the moment, knees bent. I'm going to use my glutes to come back up. Now we're going to do the same thing, either repeating this, if this one doesn't agree with you. So you're going to have the hands behind your back. Same thing again. So hinging forwards. This time it's going to feel a little bit different than last time. So knees are bent. I'm looking down to the mat and I'm opening up through the chest and I'm making sure that I have uh, my, my abdominals lifted up and I'm not sagging, sagging down through my tummy. So I've got an active feeling through my, through my navel pulling up to my spine and then I'm going to come back up and this time we're taking the strap and you're going to hold the strap behind you. With, and I'd probably start about that hip width apart, so about six inches apart with the, with the strap. Now this time, see if you can keep your legs a little bit straighter. It'd be easier because you're pulling onto the band. And then hinging forwards and bringing those arms up over your head. So use the strap to really pull that chest apart. And if it's too much, you're going to bend the knees. Okay, so coming back to where we were just a minute ago, but this time you're going to come deeper. So we're taking that strap up and over. Now try and roll the shoulders down behind you. And if you can, you're going to look up and forwards. So 
arms are coming back but you're looking forwards and then release let go of the strap let it slide and shuffle your feet in so they are um, into that hip distance apart and then just let the strap um, fall down the back of your legs now and just hold that hold that stretch there so a good one good one for the hammies okay so back to the legs um, bend the knees heavily if you need to and we're still trying to look up and forwards with this and then bending the knees releasing through the strap just placing the, the strap on the floor and bring yourself around to a seated position and your feet are going to be onto the onto the floor and take your hands behind you so now we've worked on that really good good chest opener we're going to see how we feel about um, you know opening our chest a little bit more down into this position so at the moment my fingers are turning backwards and I'm leaning backwards a little bit and then I'm going to push my chest up and forwards really working on my strength as I push and pull my shoulders away from my ears and I'm going to get you to see how you feel about lifting up in that position so from there, I'm going to squeeze my glutes, but I'm lifting up through my pelvic floor because I am in a, in a small back bend. So really make sure that you're safe when you, when you do this. So I'm pushing up and then I'm drawing my hip bones together, squeezing my bottom cheeks as well, and then lifting. Okay, so from here, you may be able to lift up higher into um, a bridge position. You might need to alter your hands. So... That's a bit uncomfy for me where I was, so I'm just going to change the position. And if this is too much for you, you're going to stay down onto the floor. Now, we're going to rock forwards and backwards. So if your bottom is on the floor, what we're going to be doing is just arching, arching your back. So in and down, pushing up. Okay, and you may find that you can do some little tiny lifts here. Now, if you're up into that high shoulder bridge position, we're going to be looking down the body. You should feel quite an intense stretch through your chest here and also through your biceps. Now you're going to keep your glutes squeezing on and up and keep your eye gaze looking down to your knees. And then rolling all the way back down, releasing the arms and just coming into a seated position and just give those uh, shoulders a little rest. Now we're going to do that again. But this time we're turning the hands around the other way. So it will change where you feel the, feel the stretch. With our hands backwards, you sort of get it more into the bicep here. And when you come round to the front, we're going to feel it a little bit more over here. So if, if you're able to, you're going to turn your fingers around. Now if you can't lift, we're going to keep working on that push. If you can lift, we're going to exhale. Do all of those same cues that we did last time. And then lift lift straight up. So this is going to be more around the, the shoulders rather than in the arms and we're going to keep rocking into that bridge position, spreading the weight through our fingers. Now depending on how you feel, you may be able to take the legs long. If you take the legs long, you're really going to squeeze your glutes and push up and keep looking down towards your feet and then let everything come down. We're going to roll over onto our front. Now rolling over onto our front, we're actually going to use the strap and if you haven't got a loop in the, in the end of your strap, you might have a dog loop which is perfect. If you haven't, you're just going to fold the strap over in half and put your foot in there. Yep, so I'm going to put my foot in the strap and then I'm going to lay down on my front and bring the, the foot up behind me. I let my head come down and I'm slowly just going to lift that foot so my knee comes off the floor a little bit and stretch and open up through the front of the hip. Now what I'm looking for here is for you to get this, this movement through the hip so we can actually reach around with the hand and find that we can stretch and open up through the shoulder. Okay, so we've done lots of prep work 
for the pec and opening up through the shoulder, but now I need your, need your leg and your hip so we can come up into this position. Yeah, and you're trying to lift your knee off and feel that stretch into the front of the thigh, into the front of the body, and also into the shoulder. And then let's re re um, repeat that on the other side. So use the strap, hook it around the foot, bringing that, that strap over the head, so you're placing the other foot on the floor, and just teasing that knee off the floor, pushing the hip down to get that thigh nice and open, get that hip nice and open, listening to sounds of, um, sorry, signals of any pain, if you get any of that, then obviously come out of it. And then releasing, finding the hand around the foot. So you can either take the strap off, I'm gonna take mine off. Hand around the foot, and then pushing, pushing that, that leg into the hand, and feeling that opposition to really open up through the front of that shoulder again. And a little bit of extension into the spine. My glute is switched on, and I've got lots of engagement into the hand, pushing into the foot. and releasing down both hands onto the mat and take yourself back to a child's pose for that counter stretch walking those fingers forwards letting the head come down to the mat creeping away having a few gentle breaths there with that spine into that counter pose and taking yourself back up and good stuff so your shoulders should feel really nice and open after that one especially around your chest that's a really good one for calisthenics because obviously we do a lot of stuff in in this position yeah so protracting the shoulders and closing the chest so it is it is a really good one to get that chest open and you know, give yourself a little bit of space in there. So, well done.